Yo, what's up, everybody? Today, we're talking about five things that I want to see in WWE 2K23, and that starts right now. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Double Knees, and we're back with another video. Like I said earlier, today, we'll be covering five things that I want to see in WWE 2K23. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things I want to see, but we're going to do top my top five. If this video gets... Let's say 10 likes, I'll do another five. There's 10 things I really want to see, but we're going to do the top five real quick. So we're going to start off with number one. And I think this is a big one for a lot of people because a lot of people have been asking for it. Custom music. Now, before we get into it, I know double. What about copyrights? What about DMCA? I totally understand that. I get it. I understand why you. it's not in the game. I understand why they're hesitant to put it in the game. But... It can be an offline mode thing. We don't. I don't need to have my music played online. I'm not an online 2K player. I don't know about you guys. If you guys are, cool. But if at the end of the day, it's really only me that's going to be listening to it. And it'd be kind of dope so that when I create a wrestler, I have my own music to go with it. Now, like I said, I understand there's DMCA. I understand there's copyright. But there's also services out there like Pretzel Rocks, like Stream Beats, like Epidemic Sound that offer royalty-free music not only to play, but to download and put it on either your YouTube channel, your Twitch stream, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to use that song. So for those of us that have an E-Federation, like for me, I don't have an E-Federation. It'd be cool if I could send the people that are part of my E-Federation to Epidemic Sound, to Stream Beats, and be like, hey, pick a song that you want for your wrestler, being able to download it, upload it to the game, and assigning it to that creative wrestler, I think would open up a world of possibilities that anyone could do with a created wrestler and plus it just gives that created wrestler its own unique feel it's not like oh this wrestler's cool but the closest thing that kind of represents that wrestler is kane's music or roman reigns music or the shields music or hell maybe sometimes you don't even have that right song that's in 2k23 and you kind of have to use a default song in the game moving on to number two i need different match types i'm talking let's bring back special guest referee give me a lumberjack match buried alive inferno match war games three stages of hell i mean give me something give me some of those specialty matches don't get me wrong hell in the cell is cool extreme rules is cool tlc is cool elimination chamber is cool but like give me some of those other matches like give me some more unique matches hell throw me the punjabi prison match why don't you give me that match like i like those kind of matches I like the different matches like i don't understand why special guest referee went away i really wish they brought that back hopefully they do for the new one hell even if they don't release it all at once right it, they could put it as part of a dlc if you buy the dlc or every time a dlc drops a new special match drops i understand that there are people out there that play like all the different match types like for me an eight man ladder match doesn't really appeal to me i mean a six man ladder match doesn't even work properly in this game there's no way i'm going to do it with eight people you know what i mean but that's that's for me that's the big thing i need different match types some matches i don't even i don't even touch like i said unless it's like an eight man battle royale i'm not really looking at the the eight people match the seven people match six people match you know six man hell in a cell six man elimination chamber hell if you want to just keep the survivor series the traditional survivor series match the 5v5 elimination keep that and get rid of all the other 10 man matches that's cool as well but like give me some specialty matches not just matches that allow me to add more people to them now moving on to number three this is a big one for me it's quality of wrestlers versus the quantity of wrestlers don't get me wrong it's fantastic to have so many wrestlers in the game because you have a plethora of options to choose from but i also don't need nine different versions of Rey mysterio i don't need four different versions of the undertaker to be honest with you maybe one to two different versions i'm okay with that I'm okay with that, but the WWE has a roster full of people, and yeah, I know budget cuts and stuff like that, but like, how many legends are in WWE that we haven't seen yet? How many people that are on the roster that we haven't seen yet? Like, you know what I mean? Bring back some Attitude Era people. Bring back some, you know, legends that we haven't seen in quite some time. I don't, like I said, and let's fix certain things with the wrestlers. Like, let's make sure that it's worth to separate a character multiple times or rather than keep them together if you get what i'm saying like for instance finn balor there's finn and then there's the demon if you're running universe mode and finn has all the stacks with him and you want to bring out the demon 
the demon doesn't have any of those stacks. It's just a regular wrestler. He doesn't have like the hot streak or anything like that. Like to me, that should have been more of a second attire rather than its own separate wrestler. That's why I, I want quality. I don't want quantity anymore. Give me quality wrestlers versus the quantity. Kind of hope for the next one that 2K kind of looks at the certain wrestlers and sees whether certain wrestlers deserve to have another version of themselves as a separate character or they take into consideration that there's not much of a difference between this version and another version so we'll just have it as an alternate attire like that's the big thing for me like i said finn balor should have been just one character regular finn and then demon finn as an alternate attire that you could switch between in the game that's for me like i said quality over quantity i don't need so many different wrestlers especially ones that don't require another version of them in the game replace some of those wrestlers use them as alternate attires and let's get some other people that we haven't seen or we haven't seen in quite some time number four on my list multiple backstage areas don't get me wrong 2k22 had a nice backstage area where you could go and traverse and do stuff like that but i'm gonna be honest with you that 2k19 i didn't play 2k20 so i don't know what the backstage area looked like but that 2k19 backstage area where you had the hallway you had one area you could go into another area you could go into that was like an office and then the, another area that you could go into was like where you do like your promos and stuff like that that had the big raw tv they're like i like that option and you kind of have that in this new one like you have that tv area you have a table you have the ladder where you could climb up and then throw someone off if you wanted to that's, that, don't get me wrong that's dope and all but like i kind of like that 2k19 backstage area where you had that hallway and you had different areas you could go into you could go into an office you could go into a dressing room you could go to where promos are cut you could go into catering if, if i'm not mistaken like to me that was a better backstage area than what we got in 22 but i'm not upset with what we got in 22 you know what i mean it was still good it had a lot of flexibility you could a lot of room to roam around but it was just kind of like just one area i like to i would like that ability to traverse the backstage hallway like we were able to do in 2k19 now i don't know how many of you guys will agree with me on this one but number five for me every other year releases i don't need a wrestling game every year I i'm gonna be honest i don't I don't know. Not much changes between the, the two wrestling games. The same, it's like Call of Duty. Every year we have a Call of Duty and nothing drastically changes at all. A couple of he things here or there, maybe a new engine, movement, but then the movement stays the same in the next one and the next one and the next one. I don't need the same wrestling game every year, especially if things aren't going to change drastically, right? This year we have a fantastic base game in 2K22, a solid foundation. Now, if 2K23 comes out, and there's not much improvement as far as either gameplay mechanics, match types, story mode, and things like that. Do we really need another 2K? Do we need 2K24? Can we just stop 2K24 and just go straight to 2K25? I think it'd be a lot more beneficial from a production standpoint, which gives them time to work on another game, right? To work on 2K25, to maybe fix some of those bugs that 2K20 had that they got rid of in 2K22, right? because they got rid of the advanced create an entrance option and we just have the standard create an entrance where we have preloaded entrances that we could pick from if i remember correctly they said that the advanced option was one of the reasons that 2k20 kept uh crashing so i would rather them focus on those kind of things and have enough time to figure it out rather than them releasing a game every year not much changes and then in the year in between they could release another dlc right so you have the main DLC for the launch, then you have year two DLC, maybe more characters, more arenas, maybe this is where different match types come in, you know what I mean? Things of that nature. In my personal opinion, I don't, and this is just for like any sports game in general, I don't need a, a game every year. Call of Duty, I don't need a game every year anymore. Madden shouldn't have a game every year anymore. 2K20, NBA shouldn't have a game, of, game every year. WWE is one of those that shouldn't have a game every year. That's just me. I'd rather them do every other year and take that time in between to work on the game to give us things that we haven't had or to improve on the things that we have had. And that's the thing. Time is time is key when it comes to making these games. I understand they got deadlines. I understand they got quotas to hit and quotas to fill and all that other stuff. But imagine every other year and they have two years to create the best game possible versus what one year maybe a, a year maybe a little bit less than a year from the time they release the game to the next one comes out because 2k23 comes out in march according to the rumors this game is literally one year in between imagine if it came out march of the following year 
they'd have two years to figure it out and figure out things that they could do things that they want to do i don't know how many of you guys are going to agree with me on that one but i feel like every other year is a lot more beneficial than every year well guys there you have it that is my top five things that i want to see in wwe 2k23 like i said if this video gets 10 likes i'll release another five things that i want to see in wwe 2k23 but i also want to hear from you guys what do you guys want to see is there something that you're looking forward to that, that you hope that they put in the game do you want to see something come back to the game that they've originally taken out guys like i said if you enjoyed this video hit that like button for me and if this is the first video you've seen stumbling upon my channel i appreciate you taking the time to watch it if you enjoyed the content hit that subscribe button also leave a comment let me know how i'm doing as well it kind of helps push the video in the youtube algorithm but again guys thanks for listening thanks for hanging out with me in this video like i said let me know what your thoughts are put your top five or just one thing or or everything that you guys want to see in wd2k23 and i will see all of you guys in the next video peace Change, change, change.